This happened in my junior year of high school when I was 17 years old. For context, this isn't the type of story to make you jump out of your seat type of story. It is, however, one of the creepiest and most awkward moments I've ever had. So anyway, this happened about two weeks ago, just when school was getting out. I was home and had just finished up my final project for school before the summer. Nothing else to do, and still having motivation to be productive, I thought I'd drive around the area to deliver some orders and make some extra cash. So I get in my car and drive around town, doing orders left and right for several people. They were pretty simple for the most part, the restaurants not being too far away. I'd say I did this for about two hours or so, before it started getting late. Most of the stores were closing, and I decided to head back home. However, I got one final notification from DoorDash, telling me that someone was requesting a delivery inside the area. I was annoyed, but it wasn't that far at the end of the day, so I bit my lip and accepted the delivery. After getting the food, I drive over to the location, pull up to a one-story, small home, now, the area I was in wasn't the best, and it was kind of creepy to be honest, but I knew I had to get it done in order to go home. I get out of my car and put the food on his doorstep, as requested, then took a picture for proof. After leaving, I hear the door unlock from behind me and see someone step outside. Standing in front of the door is this tall, linky man, wearing this huge jacket. It made no sense as it was nearing summer, and if you live in Florida, you know how hot it gets. But it really wasn't any of my business, so I just told him to enjoy his food and went on my way. But as I'm walking over to my car, I hear him tell me to wait, that he had something for me. I turn around, and he goes back inside his house and motions for me to come inside with him. Most of his house was partially dark, and you could kind of see inside, and the atmosphere itself looked very strange. I wasn't about to just enter a random person's house in the middle of the night, so I politely declined, telling him that I couldn't do that and I had to get home. He said that there wasn't anything to be worried about. It was just a surprise. Eventually it got to the point where he just brought whatever he was talking about to give me outside, which ended up being a box of cookies. He claimed that he took care of all his delivery drivers and wanted to treat us to something special since we worked so hard. After handing me these cookies, he instantly started talking about how his grandma was a cook and owned this million dollar business and she'd given him a recipe. I don't know if anything he was claiming was true, but needless to say, I really didn't care. I just thanked him for the cookies and went home, where I ended up just setting the cookies on my bed. I was tired, so I decided to take a shower and just get ready for bed. I'm in the shower for a good 10 minutes, and I hear my mom yelling something while calling my name. She didn't really sound mad or anything, just distressed and concerned. I turned off the water, wrapped up in a towel, and hurried into my room where I found my mom sitting on my bed. I instantly understood why she was so concerned. My cat had torn into the box of cookies, and I had eaten nearly half of them. She was on my bed breathing heavily, acting as if she was about to pass away at any moment. At that point, we knew that we had to get her to a vet. The only one that was still open was about 15 minutes away. We put her into the car and floored it down the road to the hospital got there, a veterinarian was thankfully kind enough to take her in and run a few tests on her. These tests basically checked for any signs of poisoning or sickness she may have had. After about 10 minutes, the nurse came back out with her happy and healthy again. It turned out there were several traces of brodofacum in her system. Brodofacum is a very dangerous and very fatal chemical that was mainly used for killing rodents. Those cookies that I'd received had been laced with it. Fortunately, the nurse was able to help her recover from it by pumping her stomach with medication. With all this being said, she told us that if we'd arrived even 10 minutes later, she probably wouldn't have made it. The police were called, and I gave them the address that I'd delivered that DoorDash meal to. However, when they got there, whoever gave me those cookies was long gone. There was an open investigation of the incident, but after about a week, they finally called it off as there was little to no information from that man. I'm just glad our cat thankfully survived. So this happened the day before Halloween and I'm still on the edge of my seat as I write this. For reference, I'm a female, currently 24 and live in a small town outside of Omaha, Nebraska. 
The town I lived in is known to be very safe with a population of about 5,000 people, meaning bad things don't happen here. It's a nice little community and it even had its own park and signature restaurants and shops. I've lived in this town my whole life and never once had a reason to feel afraid. However, that would all change in just one night. It was the middle of the night and I had just come home from a friend's party really tired. Wanting to go to bed, but also really hungry, I decided to figure out what I could eat. Now one thing you have to know about me is that I could never sleep on an empty stomach. With little to no motivation to cook anything, I decided to order a few things from McDonald's via DoorDash. I hardly used it, but it was convenient for times like these when I didn't want to cook anything. Living in the middle of nowhere, I knew it would take a while for a dasher to deliver my food. To kill some time, I started on some homework and watched a few YouTube videos while waiting for my food. About 30 minutes go by and I get a notification from DoorDash letting me know that the dasher was approaching. Relieved, I go outside where I was greeted to a man in his car that had my food. He politely gives it to me and even makes sure it was the correct order and tells me to have a nice night. I thank him for the order and leave him an extra tip as a token of my respect. He then drives off and I go inside to finish my homework while I ate my dinner until it was time for bed. After about an hour or so of rolling around in my bed trying to get comfortable, I finally managed to fall asleep. Suddenly, the sound of heavy knocking at the front door abruptly woke me up. Thinking it was maybe my parents or possibly my older brother coming home, I put on my slippers and go out to the front to look. Standing on the other side of the door, was the DoorDash delivery man staring at my ring doorbell camera with this creepy smile. He was saying all these sorts of weird phrases while pacing back and forth around my patio. I ask him if he needed help and he responds in this raspy voice saying that he wanted to thank me for the tip and wanted to come in to chat. I tell him that it was my pleasure but that I couldn't let him in as I was sleeping. However, he disregarded my answer and started persuading me as to why I should let him in. At this point, he's clearly not taking no for an answer and I told him to please leave my property before I called 911. His joyful, cheerful face then suddenly changed drastically into anger. Then, as if things couldn't get any worse, he starts to form this really creepy grin and begins to laugh out loud hysterically. On top of that, he also made various death threats towards me while basically pounding on my door. Now, I can't show you the whole video, but here's a picture of what he looked like taken from my ring doorbell camera. That's what I saw, clear as day, standing right outside of my driveway. I tell him that I'm calling the police and this is what made him finally back off and drive away. Needless to say, I reported the incident to DoorDash and called the sheriff just to be safe. From what I heard, DoorDash had removed him from doing deliveries and police were able to make an arrest. I'm still not sure if I'd be writing this had I opened the door. My name is Alex, and this happened just yesterday, late last night, with my girlfriend. For a very brief four months or so, I worked as a delivery driver for a few food delivery apps at the time. Mostly being active on Uber Eats and DoorDash, as those were the ones that tended to be more popular. I didn't expect to make big money from this side hustle, but it helped with other small things like groceries and utilities. I live in the suburbs of LA, which is a very crowded part of the city, so deliveries were usually quick and close. 
Anyway, this happened last night while my girlfriend and I were doing deliveries. We had just gotten home from a friend's party, and while most people would be exhausted, we were surprisingly still active. Not knowing what to do, my girlfriend and I decided we'd go out and do a few deliveries just to have some us time. Being in the car with a loved one always felt like a special sort of vibe. Anyway, almost immediately, someone requested a large order from a local wing stop, and I was the one who accepted it. Big orders usually meant that the customer would have to tip more, aka more money for me. We drive to the location, and I tell my girlfriend to wait in the car while I go get the food. Now, Wingstop usually takes a bit of time before the order is ready, which meant I had to wait a few minutes. Once the food had been done, I grab it and start heading back to the car when I see my girlfriend is stoned as a statue. She's sitting in the front seat with her eyes wild and had a look of fear. At first, I was confused as to why she was like that and motioned for her to roll down the window while asking her what the hell happened. She slowly flicks the button and tells me in a shook voice to get in the car. I do just that and we drove over to the destination while I continued to ask what was wrong. After what felt like forever, she finally tells me everything and what she told me made my stomach drop. As I was inside the restaurant waiting for the food, my girlfriend had been on her phone texting a friend when she looks out the window. Practically hovering over the window was a very large and tall man who looked to be at least 6'7". He wore all black and was staring at my girlfriend with this very angry look, and in his hand was a window smasher. His face was red and his eyes were menacing, as if he had this strong hatred towards my girlfriend. However, she couldn't move or say anything. She simply turned to face the front and hoped that he'd just leave. After about a decent minute, he thankfully did, and that was when I had come out of the restaurant. Now, there's no real way to say this without trying to brag, but my girlfriend is very... pretty. Like, she's cute, and her looks would oftentimes attract a lot of faces. My theory was that the man who had come up to the car had seen her and knew she was with me as he had probably been watching us. We didn't really bother calling the police as there wasn't really something to be done about it. After that, we had called it a night and went straight home as she couldn't shake off the paranoia. Up until now, I'm still not exactly sure as to what the man wanted or what his intentions were. But if he had a device to break windows, they couldn't have been good. From now on, my girlfriend and I have agreed that whenever we do orders together, that we'd both be the ones to go inside.